A World War II legend will be laid to rest tomorrow. U.S. Army veteran and Coronado native Tom Rice served in the 101st Airborne and parachuted into Normandy on D-Day. He dedicated his life to make sure Americans didn't forget the sacrifices that were made during the global conflict. Now, people from all over the world are here to honor a man from the greatest generation. Tom Rice said that he wanted to jump until he was age 100, and he did that right here on the beaches of Coronado. He lived a life filled with inspiration, making his mark in the military, the community, and in the classroom. Underneath the World War II 101st Airborne Screaming Eagles uniform was an exemplary man. He was a man of uh, a few words, but what he said, uh, they were powerful words. D-Day veteran Tom Rice's words were deliberate. Any uh, combat soldier, uh, probably if he survives, suffers from fame, blame, and shame. So uh, that's, that's the process I, I, I work through all the time. A process that retired U.S. Navy Captain Stephen Shepard says Rice worked through when he shared his story of parachuting into gunfire and stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day. Tom allows us to walk over that bridge to understand what happened, to have a, a connection, and from that we were much greater as Americans. His greatness was felt in France too. He is absolutely our hero. Dennis Vandenbrink flew from Corinthian, the French city that Rice helped liberate during World War II, and wrote the Bronze Star recipients a memoir. The announcement of his passing, you wouldn't believe the reaction that we had in France all over. It's amazing. Rice died at the age of 101 on November 17th. And while Sergeant Rice was known for his bravery in parachuting into Normandy on D-Day anniversaries. To honor those who did not come back. He also earned a Purple Heart for his sacrifice in the Battle of the Bulge. Let the bells ring, because they rang for thee. After he came home from the war, Rice spent his career as a high school social studies teacher in the South Bay. It's interesting to see that facet of teaching the, young, the next generation how to be strong, confident, fearless, and yet he did it in such a gentle way. Rice's humility was seen as he volunteered with the Honor Flight San Diego and speaking to students about his service. And he would go into a whisper, never forget, so that it would burn into our souls that spirit of remembrance and sacrifice. A selfless man who carried the stories of sacrifice and the cost of freedom. Tom held the nation's hand and kept it from falling in World War II. In the final days, it was our chance to hold his hand and keep him from falling. More than 400 people are expected to attend Tom Rice's memorial. You are invited to go as well. It'll be tomorrow at the Coronado High School Performing Arts Center starting at noon. It'll also be streamed online. To learn more, go to CBS8.com.